7. Let's draw 7. Here's the way we're going to draw 7. There you go. There you go. Now we've got this one set up, right? 1 and 1. 1 and 1. 1 and 1. See, this part here is together. This whole part stays together. This is a part, the extension of the next one, okay? Okay, this cannot be done in the middle over here. It cannot be done because if it's done in the middle, do you want to know how it's done in the middle of one square? Well, the only way to do it in the middle of one square, okay, is to actually draw it this way, offset. You draw it offset, it comes into the center. But once you draw it into the center, look at the automatic action. 7 is created. And 7 is created again. When 1 splits a corner of 2, when 1 splits 2, you get 7 and 7. 1 and 2 equals 3, and you get 7 and 7. Okay, 7 and 7 is 14. Okay, 3, 1, 4. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 3.1415. The total is 29. 9, 2. 1 plus 4 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. 1 plus 5 is 6. 3.1415, 6, 2. Now what we're going to show you is... This 7. We make this 7 over here. And then we crisscross itself. Okay? And we crisscross itself. This is the way it is. We crisscross this 7 over here. Now, okay, there's the 7. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take this line over here. I'm just trying to see if I'm doing this on the, the right angle. Um, give me a second. Give me a second. Yes, give me a second. You see the way it becomes a split in the road? If I would take this pen and, and draw this, you would start to see depth. You see the depth that curves around here? But disregard this, okay? Disregard this, okay? What I drew over here is a 7, okay? It's a 7, right? And what I'm going to draw over here is another 7. We have 77, right? Let's just connect them at the feet, right? Now what we're going to do, okay, is we are going to draw the next one. We're going to draw a 7, okay? And I'm going to draw the 7. Now I'm going to draw the reverse 7. And now I have drawn reverse 7s on each other. Now I'm going to put this down here, and there we have that star. All sevens. Delta, 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 delta. You want to put a little eye in the corner? Maybe a nose? Maybe a mouth? I don't know. It could be a flying bird. I don't know. I don't know how it works. We know feathers can go at the end of the birds, right? Right? And then here, we'll just put them on shh. Two legs, right? Now, we want to talk still about sevens, okay? Because I stopped talking about sevens. I'm looking at this little piece of paper that I designed in front of me. But if you really want to know about seven, right? You have to add things up, okay? Once you have added them, maybe we can now multiply them, okay? Multiply, okay? If you want to divide it, okay, then we'll divide it right here. We don't need to say anything about it because these two are in between these two. This counts for these two. So now it's divided. The multiply is now being divided. The minus. Well, that's pretty easy. You take away the dividing wall, the digital time between above and below. And how do you get all this? You get all this by making one seven over here, two sevens over here, okay? Three sevens over here, okay? And then there's this line over here. Down, down, up, up. Four sevens, right? Four sevens. The minute you put this line in between, okay, you now automatically have a different seven. This line gives you a seven here and a seven here. This line gives you a seven here and a seven here. So where you had four sevens, 4 times 7, okay? You now have 1 7 over here, this line, this line over here, and this line over here, and this line over here, and this line over here is 2. This line, okay? This line over here, and this line over here is 1. This line over here is 4. Now you have another 4 times 7, okay? Just by adding these two lines. Forget about these lines, okay? These are the creating lines. These lines is what locked everything together. So now you have 4 7s and 4 7s, but only to get all the way around. You must use this one twice at the end. You use it one here. This is, a, this is the leg. This is the tail. This is the tail. This is the leg. This is the leg. This is the tail. This is the leg. This is the tail. This is the leg. This is the tail. The plus and the minus becomes the legs and the tails, right? The short end of the stick. So we have eight of them to create a star. And the star key is on the eight button on the keyboard right over here. The four is the dollar sign. The seven is the end because it locks up above and below. I don't know the whole dimensions. Here's the hat. Here's the percentage sign because it's on the five key. Five has one inside of it. It starts off at one and it ends with one. Don't count the four that surround it. Those are expression keys. Once you have three, it's showing you left and right. Once you have four, it's telling you two times two opposites of each other. When you have three, you have one and two inside of each other. When you have five, you have all of them. You have one in the center to all and four to the center of one. Center of nothing. 
because four is nothing. Four is all of five, but four is also the four corners. The four corners, right? These four corners will link with other corners. Okay? And they will create their own dimension. But when the four corners come together, they create this cube. They're in different areas. They're in different universes. There are four flagpoles on a street on four different corners. Raphael, 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. How many sevens? How many sevens are there, eh? Look what seven can do, eh? The illusion of seven. Can I color this in for a second? Just wanted to just color that in just a bit. All right? What does seven do? What does seven do? It's almost like you're falling off the top here. Okay, that's it for my artistry, okay. <laughs>